I'm Brittany, this is Eddie, and welcome to Gay Watch, where we watch gay things. Today's episode is Return of the Archons, which is basically the OG Purge. It's the Purge before we had the Purge, the Proto-Purge. This is also, I believe, one of the earlier episodes where the cast, or at least like the main cast, gets to play dress up to fit in with their surroundings, which is always a good time, especially when they give Spock a particularly dashing cape to hide, you know, the ears. I remember this episode being a pretty good time. So we're going to get synced and we're gonna hit play. Pull up the episode on any device you want. Compare your episode's runtime with the runtime provided down in this video's description box and make sure that they are identical or close to it. Pause the episode at zero minutes, zero seconds, right at the beginning. And then I will give you a countdown that sounds like this. Three, two, one, play. And when I say play, you'll hit play. Alrighty, and now time. And now time for the real countdown. Three. <laughs> and now time for the real countdown. Three, two, one, play. Oh, we're starting out with the crazy music. That's always a good sign. Very colonial. I too trip over nothing. Oh, it's Sulu. Oh, it's Sulu in a red shirt. That can't be good. Oh God, these guys, yeah. That's not, that's not creepy at all. Yeah, B must the fuck up. I was about to say, you got to stand there until you're beamed up. Oops. See, this is why he's a red shirt. Oh, he also gets tapped, though. Oops. Now they beamed up crazy, Sulu. Yeah. Well, I'm insane now, so I don't know the answer to that question. He's like so dead. Oh God, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Right, calm it down. Oh, that's right, Landru. Sulu's gone a little. <whistles> sort of. <coughs> 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 Totally dead, sir. Yeah, that's, that's, that's never a good thing. I remember what Landru is, but I don't remember, like, how he came to be or or like the context of the situation or really more like the history of the situation i forget how like how this planet got to be the joyful planet that it is i forget exactly how that happened but i do remember what landrew is i'd say it's hard to forget what landrew is but the amount of very easy things that i have forgotten during this rewatch discounts me from saying that. Mm. 
Sulu's batshit. More just like a high state. Oh, everybody gets costume. I love it. Kirk and McCoy get to be dandies and Spot gets to be like the midnight rider, the dashing shadow, the he he's some kind of European historical Byronic hero of some sort. It's what he deserves. No, <laughs> sure. What's the festival? The Red Hour is what it's called. Right, right, right. Jesus, it's like a wedding procession. How slow do these people walk? They're doing a real good job at making me uncomfortable. Put us up on spikes or... Yeah. We're all confused. Way, way out of here. It's interesting how much they're getting away with implying. Considering they obviously couldn't show everything that would happen during a time like this. Because that would be way fucked up. That would be some HBO Showtime shit. Huh. <laughs> So how come y'all are sane? So senior citizens get like a get out of chaos free card? Yeah, I'm with Kirk's expression on this. Every time somebody says festival though, I hear the the notes uh, from um, Into the Woods. The festival. I yeah. Every time. 
musical theater ruins words for you. Festival. I'm fine. Festival. I'll stop. I promise. I'll stop. I mean, red hour. I feel like it's been, it's nighttime now. I feel like it's been an hour or is it just a nighttime thing? Is it like pure purge and it's like all, an all nighter? The torches though. No kidding. Damn, son. Noon? Really go from evening to new oh no, six, okay. Wow. On a dime. Qua? What? Do I want to know? I don't think I want to know. Everyone else was on a dime. Me and the red shirt get along. Yes. He's so good at Kirk is so good at that. He's like, why? Yes, I will take your context clues and run with them until it gets me in trouble. Thank you. I didn't realize the guy in hoods talked into speakers, but okay. Oh, what, like literally? Oh. The stick sneeze, apparently. They sneeze and you die or pass out? Pass out or die? Do we though? Damn, that's a good outfit on Kirk. Osmosis. Oh, 
Oh, sure. That's a problem. That's, uh, that's a couple of problems. I got a couple phasers in my pockets there otherwise. <laughs> that was that was very quiet subtextual thanks but it's really not over yet huh how's about no how's about no oh he is dead Kirk's not really down with that kind of obedience, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, too bad. No mechanism. This is literally going to be the I know a place meme, is it? Smile, nod, avoid on co eye contact. Oi contact? Yeah, what the fuck is the body count? What? I'm not remembering this part. V body. Oh! Yeah! Oops. Right? Get us out of immediate danger of the mob. That's a very calm way to fall. How long do you think it took the extras to really get that pacing down? Because that's a very specific lurch they've got going on there. Oh, ditto Sulu. At least they dragged his feet. I thought they were going to have the unconscious guy walk with them as they were carrying him away. That doesn't look like a terribly comfortable bed.
What? Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, great. What, a light? I mean, we've heard that word before. <laughs> yeah. You're not organized, are you? No, oh, well, great. I, I about to say, put them back under for right now. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Landrew out here pulling spaceships out the sky. The, oh, yeah, we have a starship. That's a problem. Yeah, and it's in the sky. That's a problem. Fantastic. No. <sighs> Great. Problems everywhere. Oh, I probably should have expected a guy wearing gold tin foil, but you know. I mean, yeah, that'd be why he's see through. Literally. Not entirely, though. No crime. No. I, just because you grant something a lit doesn't mean it what. You transcend the evil by committing it?
What the fuck? Oh, see, I'm not done with that. No, I'm I'm an American. I'm annoyingly individualistic. But it Oh, wait, I think I remembered at least something about how this came to be. Everybody's down. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad for Spock. He had to, like, pass out backwards onto a table. Oh, no more phasers. Closed in, even better. Damn this paper mache. Time to wake up the boyfriend. Oh shit, that's right. Great. That's a nice way to I'd forgotten that they actually dropped um, some hints towards the resolution as opposed to just bringing it out of nowhere There are a few, yeah. What? Oh! Right, they were taken away to be uh, uh, brainwashed, yeah. And now, poor McCoy. They really put McCoy through it in this series. I mean, he has to go, he has to go nuts and sitting on the edge of forever. That's unsettling. Deeply unsettling. I don't think you're going to be able to smack some sense into him this time. Yeah, 
That's bad. That hurts. That hurts. Kirk looks uh properly devastated. That hurts. That's painful. Mmm. Try it. Crap. Isn't he like a clever fuck and doesn't he like fake it? Snap the fuck out of it. Doubt it. That's a machine. Yeah. All of a sudden, very space agey things are around, continuing to not make any sense whatsoever. Because we don't know everything, not because it just doesn't make sense. Yep. You got any better ideas? I like him. What the hell is his name? He's, he's pretty great. Given what I'm remembering about the end, though, I don't get how the the sticks would work if there's no mechanism, no nothing inside, and it's just hollow. That is indeed a problem, yes, but I sw isn't he faking or he has to fake it at some point. That's, uh, that shot reminds me of a very specific moment in another um, Leonard Nimoy piece from 1965. I'm forgetting the name of it, but it's about a particular um, group of uh, prisoners, of men in prison and is like deliberately and canonically homoerotic and who there's a scene with a nightstick that kind of renders you speechless if you get what i'm saying I mean, yeah.
That's how he's faking it. The guy, yeah, because the guy's a contact. He's not actually... He didn't actually um, brainwash Kirk. I don't know why the hell my eyes are watering so bad. I film at other times during the week. This doesn't happen. This doesn't happen. <laughs> you know, if it was anybody other than McCoy, that would be really creepy. Let's get away from the crazy guy. No kidding. or confused until it explodes. I mean, point. Also, they're all in danger. And also really like the whole society is in danger. Like this is not, this is not, this is clearly not a prime directive thing. Which would be up to Captain Discretion. I say that because people talk about how Kirk like never follows the Prime Directive and he just says, fuck the Prime Directive all the time. But he has his reasons that would be left up to him in these circumstances anyway. So like... Oops. 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 Punch his lights out. Oh, or not get that chance. I mean, of course you don't, but sweetie, you gotta hit him. Or choke him out, whichever. And down you go. Someone left uh, uh, a good um, behind the scenes tidbit about that, about Spock having to hit someone instead of pinching them. Something about how, well, one, this show was filmed extremely quickly and they couldn't, um, and they didn't have an opportunity to get the positioning right or something like that in order to have the camera and have the right angle or what have you. And they just didn't have time to fix it or figure it out or, 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 or whatnot. And that Shatner's line there was ad-libbed. So like sometimes it had to break its own. So sometimes it had to break its own rules just because they were filming extremely fast and they just didn't have time. Which I knew this show was made quickly, but I didn't quite know how quickly. Apparently this was like nigh on soap opera fast. 
in soap operas they get like one take maybe two if you like really fuck up and like that's it Oh, that always goes well. That's a set design. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that shot. Excuse me. Yep, gotta look sexy for the finale. Does he come silently or? Oh no. I don't think that's right. Yeah, still. Hmm. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought he was about to say, let's have a look at the man behind the curtain. But that would have been a really old reference for someone in the 2200s. Hey, it's a supercomputer. When you're right and you look at your boyfriend all smugly. Oh, what? Has he really been ruling like this for 6,000 years? Right, you're a computer, you're not an AI.
Oh, thanks. Alrighty, time to outsmart a supercomputer. Ah. I mean, with something like the Red Hour, yeah. Ah, oh, hell. Oh. Right? Like, on one hand, there was cleverness. On one hand, they ha had also established that, yeah, you introduce new ideas to this thing and it doesn't quite know what to do, and that's this taken to the nth power. But then there's also a nice percentage of yay 60s in here where Kirk just yelled at a computer and it spontaneously combusted. That's always good. Okay, y'all got to stop with the fondness. Just the gentle fondness fucking kills me. Stop 
with the fondness. Stop. Yeah. They're so fond of each other. So that was Return of the Archons. A good episode. A good episode with a lot of um, hallmarks of the show. Including, oh, including the fondness. I, wow. Hmm. Right when I think I... Re- And it's always right when I think I remember that in episode, I was like, okay, there's not much Kirk Spock interaction in this episode, or there's none, or something. Every time I think I remember it correctly, they slip something in there right at the end that makes a fool out of me. And this time it was the fondness TM. There's no such thing as too much fondness when when it comes to them. It it just, it... (sighs) It makes my heart happy. What can I say? Any further comments, you know, about outsmarting computers and, of course, you know, the the fondness TM uh, will be down below as per usual. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I will be here next week with A Taste of Armageddon. And please remember to vote and please remember to take care of yourself.